Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. I just want to talk to you this morning about the 2023 code changes and how I'm going to be handling it here on the Electrical Code Coach channel. But before we do that, I want to give a shout out to the 1987 National Electrical Code. I want to show you guys how small it is. Could you imagine being able to do that? That would be awesome. Fit it and just about and be able to handle it with one hand. You know, compared to the size that we have nowadays but just want to let you guys know how I'm gonna be handling the 2023 code changes everything that I do on my channel I try to make it the juice right try to make it the meat try to give you exactly what you need I don't try to give you any fluff although we do have a little bit of fun don't get me wrong but I want you guys to have the best information I want you to have it quick so as quick as we get a 2023 copy in our hand we're gonna be bringing you all the stuff that matters in the things that you do day to day, GFCI protection, AFCI protection, have they expanded tamper resistant? Are they, you know, is ampacity the same? If, you know, has anything big changed? And we're going to talk about big changes. We're going to talk about the things that matter day to day. We're going to talk about overcurrent protection. We're going to talk about the expansions of all these places, just so you can be fully equipped with what's coming to the 2023. Just to give you an idea, they put out the code book. Here's the 87. Here's the 90. Here's the 96, here's the 93. They put these code books out every single three years, but your state may not adopt it every three years. Like my state, last time they jumped all the way from the 08 all the way to the 2017. This time we're gonna be jumping from the 17 to the 2023. A lot of states go every other cycle. Some states adopt it the next January or a January one year after it comes out. So every state's a little bit different. A quick Google search or a phone call to your local county office or city office will let you know what your state does. But the most important thing is that you stay up to date on the codes that's current in your area. Highly recommend being involved in the 2023. If, because if your area right now is on the 17, there's a high probability they're going to adopt the 23. If your area was a quick adopter to the 2020, they're likely going to adopt the 2023. I think 2023, guys, is going to be our code cycle. I really do. I think this is going to be the next three to six years of our life. It's going to be a, you know, a large part of our career, depending on where you're at in the game. So I really want us to be the best and have the most knowledge here on this channel about the 2023 code. I'm really excited about it. There's some huge changes that came in the 2020. I look forward to see what they did with them in the 2023. And there's some big things that are coming in the 2023 that I know about, but I'm not sharing yet. I don't want to share any hype. I don't want to share any possibilities. I want to have the code book in my hand and be sharing it with you. And as soon as we get it, we're going to, we're going to be giving away a lot of 2023 code books this next year. Uh, we have uh, 2023 tabs that are going to be available here shortly, and I just want to see you guys win. So as we get this content and bring it to you, I'm just super excited about it. If you guys have questions, you can always email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. Let's get to it.